Hi everybody, hi every spirit, welcome very much to my YouTube channel. As a trick cloud surfer ready to bring to you a match from EGC TV's The Elite Classic. They cast this tournament live on their channel or on the weekends and you can catch me live on Twitch and playing as well using the links down below. So this is the second match out of the best of five between these two players which are core on the color orange playing as the Rus and 3D Cat on the color blue playing as the English and the map is good old Dry Arabia. Other than that, this is the final set of the second qualifier who wins this set will be moving on to the main event of the Elite Classic. So everything is on the line right here. If you want to know how the score is right now, go watch the latest episode before this one here on the channel because I don't want to spoil it for you or for anybody that doesn't know yet. Just know that this is the second match out of a best of five. And the matchup is Rus against English. A very interesting matchup. On the late game, both of these sieves are very, very good. Both of these sieves are aggressive. They have good economies, but they benefit from different things. Rus, they have faster food gathering rate, faster wood gathering rate. They got the bounty as well. They can collect gold from wildlife, and as you see, Core opens with three scouts, and 3D Cat only opens with one. He kills immediately a deer pack. Core will get three deer packs, and that will be good for him. Two scouts killing deer, third scout killing wolf. It's pretty much meta right now. And then we will see how these players play. I expect a double TC for both players. So double sec double second TC. And a lot of economy. Perhaps we don't play on Feudal Age over here. Perhaps it will be only a Castle Age play. Let's see how these two players will choose their paths. 3D Cat very close to Feudal. Core as well. Let's see what Landmark they choose. And Core already went for a, a wheelbarrow. That's great. That's great, bro. He'll have a good economical advantage for so far. Then Council Hall, very classic from our English player. And I'm sure we'll see the Kremlin for the Rus player. I'm pretty sure. Oh, perhaps English will go at third TC build, where they go kind of fast castle into the King's Palace. And they go uh, second TC on Feudal, then third TC on Castle. Oh, very early travel techniques for the English player going for the deer. That, yeah, that spells for me a fast castle. Oh no. Yeah, it's going to be a second TC though. Okay. Into a semi fast castle. We better complete it for our Rus player. Now their villagers carry more and walk faster, making them extra efficient. The Kralin coming in online. It's a, like a mini keep landmark. No, it works like a keep. It works very well. It just doesn't take as much people, but also gives. A, wo a wood bonus gathering rate of 20%. So, really great. And you can spawn militia, which are some units, infantry units, that they have a timer, they die after 60 seconds, if I'm not mistaken. But they can really save those player, or they can really finish or help finishing games. So they are actually very useful. And very unique, a very unique style for the Rus. Pretty cat now suffering some damage from these two scouts. Trying to kill the villagers. The villagers are now shooting their bows. English villagers can shoot. Look at that. They are more focusing on gathering. 
They do deliver and now they start running away. Longo comes out ready to defend. Villagers still collecting food. First scout will go down. Yes. And the other one runs away in fear. And now it's coming back. They want to finish that low. Oh, Militia comes in. Core with the pressure. Scout and Militia. I love that. A great feudal age play. No bear on these villagers means they take more time to run away. And gets one villager. Great work by Core. Gets one villager over there. Well done, well done. Great pressure. Very well used of the militia and the scout. Oh, but second TC is ready to be dropped. Cat collected a bit more stone. Maybe he wants some outposts. And TC will be right there. Core on the other side. Also going for a second TC build. Where will be a good spot for him? Maybe here? Deer, gold and, and wood? I think that will be a good spot. Or perhaps there. But there is like... You got berries, you got deer, you got gold in the back, you protect the relic. It's also good. Let's see. English going for the TC first. Losing another scout, so he opened with three. Right now, only has one. Only one. Oh, there we go. It's here. The TC goes near the deer, near the gold, near the wood. It's a good spot. Kind of defends the base as well. Second TC for the English player, also near the deer, near the wood, near the gold. Second TC is also finished. For the Rus player, well done, Core. Second TC for both players, let's go. No military units for both players. So I'm expecting fast castles from now on. Will Barrow for the English player is producing longbows. Maybe just to defend a little bit. There is two. Oh no! Hold on, Core is investing. Let's go. We see Knight. A Knight coming in. Two archers already on the field. Another scout, scout fight. Longbow ready to help. Let's go, let's go. Scouts running. Scouts no. Knight running with the scout. Oh, who's player looking to go for the boar? I like that move. The knight will kill the boar. To give them a lot of food and some extra bounty. Oh, Longbow's got one villager. I like that. Not able to do much. Oh no, those villagers, yeah. The core needs to pay attention. He can lose a lot of villagers here. Bro, Longbow are so annoying. Archers coming in, but Longbow will just outrange them. Five Longbows on the field, two spears. So both players going to fight on Feudal Age. I love to see that.
Oh, more villagers being targeted by those longbows, man. Oh my god. Hold on, hold on. Okay, wait. The English player also lost the villager. I don't know how, but the count the accounts are balanced. Second night from court. That's a f oh castle age. Bro, I wasn't expecting that so fast from Core because he's building units with Abbey of Trinity hitting the field. Allowing Core to build religious units that are on horses so they'll go extra fast to gather those relics. Let's go. 3D cat with a good army and he's very close to Castle Edge himself. I'm very curious to see if he goes White Tower or King's Palace. I've not seen very much White Towers on this tournament. Let's go, let's go, players preparing their next move. Core with no relics yet. But I think he has, yeah, warrior monks going to look for those relics. It's the King's Palace, so it's the 3TC build from Cat that will give him a very nice advantage over the Roost player. Well done, well done. Core cleaning the field around this base. First relic from Core. Deposit on the bank where these peers are looking to maybe station around this relic over here. No, they are trying to go there or just straight up kill this warrior monk. Warrior monk will pass undetected, unnoticed. I oh know the scout is there. It's too late, warrior monk. Oh, can, no, if the scout wasn't there, he could trick them in the stealth forest. Alright, there is another relic being picked by Cordo, so no problem. He'll have two relics for the moment. Here we go. Over there, knights taking care of a spear. More spears coming through, only one. But there is more over there. Oh, the archers took care of them. Very, 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 very well played, Cord. Let's go. Spears and crossbows, not crossbows, longbows, walking through the field. Veteran longbow being researched. <gasps> Warrior monk can be caught off guard here. Yeah, the spear sees it. It's now attacking. Wallow low. No, nope, it will not work. Goes down. Kor still bringing another relic back home. So that will be the third one. I like those movements from Kor. Killed a villager in the process. Monk coming out will be killed by these units. No, actually, no. Yes, actually, yes. Let's go. And 3D Cat grabbing a relic for himself. 
Wololo. Great defensive Wololo because of the extra range from the longbows. The archers and the knights need to go away. Meanwhile, the longbows do good damage while inside of the Wololo. So great synergy. Or is forced to go back. Now Kord is trying this outpost, trying to find a way to get into the base of Cat and do some economical damage. He knows that Cat is on that 30 C. And wants to make sure that economical lead doesn't grow too much out of control. Car going for the deer. And Corsula has a relic on on his side of the base. Maybe he didn't realize that. He has two warrior monks. Are they in the main army? Yes. I think Kor doesn't know about that, right? But 3D Cat has way more military, that's true. Almost double, no. He's still far away from double, but he has more military than core. Knights engage there. They take some damage from the longbows, but not much. They have double range defense, so that works well out very well for them. Two mangonels now for the Roost player. That will take care of these longbows, you better believe it. Let's go. Manganel, Manganel. Good damage on the spears. Good damage on the spears. Really good. Oh, but 3D Cat is now adding in Manette Arms. That will make that army extra bulky. Manganel, Manganel, Manganel. Knights charging in, great Mangonel shot, but misses. Sp two Springles in queue for 3D Cat. The English army goes behind the walls where it's safe. Good Manganel shot, but misses again! Kor cannot get a single Manganel shot. Also because 3D Cat is doing some great dodges. And now we have Springles ready to take care of those Manganels. But you need more Springles to do that effectively and quickly. Kor still not picking up that fourth relic. That will be extra gold for him. Third Manganel arrives at the battlefield. The villager lead is the same, even though 3D Cat has 3 TCs. Very interesting. Wait, because Core is on 3 TCs as well. I didn't realize it. Bro, what a great move from Core. My bad, guys. I didn't realize Core was on the 3rd TC as well, but he is. Bro, great moves. That's why the villager lead is the same. Nice. Core countering that 3rd TC build from the English. I really like that. I really, really like that. Oh, Manganel's going down, though. Springles being super effective. Three Manganels go down. Now, this fight will be very tough for Core. Because the English army is under the tower. So, he's under the network of castles. Bonus. Gaining more attack speed. A 
great fight here for 3db holding on very, 3d cat i mean holding on very well the longbows decimating the archers archers trying to kill longbows as well but they attack faster and they do more damage those archers have no shot oh a bunch of militia with spear coming through coming through they say Cora trying to buy some time here, I believe. So the English flood doesn't reach his base. The militia go in. Looking to do some good damage, but I think they will not accomplish much. And they just die very quickly, that's true. Unfortunately. Let's go, great defense from 3D Cat. It's kinda easy to defend as the English. Now Kor only has 11 units, that's really tough, he can't defend with much, he picks up the 4th relic, maybe try to use it for a low low or something, there is too much longbows to do that, longbows will just uh, snipe the warrior monk pretty easily. Where are these knights going? Ah, it's going to kill that longbow that will try to decap the sacred site, because Kor is also sitting on 2 sacred sites, so Kor with a lot of gold is actually kind of floating a little bit. He doesn't have enough food. No, he deposited the fourth relic. Not using it for a Wulolo. English tower. Giving extra movement speed. This can be the end. Core under pressure on his own base. Can he defend? It's 36 units against 9. I think he'll not be able to defend right now. He needs like... 4 manganels now. You know, just... Boom. Deleting those longbows. Losing some veils over there. Spears burning the, the TC slowly but surely. Knights hit the field. Springles can do some damage. But the longbows can actually snipe the... Oh, Manganel! Two Manganels! But they are out of position. Villager will heal. Bro, that can be the turnaround that Kord needs. But no, the spirit will destroy one of the manganels. The other manganel does good damage. Those longbows are very low HP. But now we have the towers there. Giving extra attack speed for the English army. It's all units, bro. Or even, even siege. Which is kind of crazy if you think about it. And now the English player doing a proxy base. Build, building some barracks. And you can expect to see a flood of men at arms really soon. Really soon. You can expect it. Alright, alright. Pulling away, pulling away. Be careful, be careful. Core with one manganel. Doing good damage, but he doesn't have enough units here to defend. B or cat, my bad, that's 50 units. Core only on 19. The tower is going down though. Good work there, good work. But this tower in the back still giving that attack speed to all the units there. Manganel shots keeping core alive. But those many times are too bulky, they can just pass through and take the Manganel down. Manganel with no protection. Manganel is wide open, the knights are there to defend though. Good, 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 good. Manganel take a shot, but Springle on it! Bye bye, Manganel. And I think with Manganel gone, also the hopes of, of core are gone. Maybe expect a GC, a GG very soon. Some militia are called, but it's not enough. Archers in the back line, trying to do damage. But those men at arms take a lot of time to go down. Even under double TC, because the TCs are empty. Knights attacking, being attacked by spear is not the best target for them. A Springle comes in the back line, can do some damage to those men at arms. It's double Springle. They can do some good damage. Shooting on the other Springles. So maybe Kor has some Manganels coming in. But Kor has no army. Uh oh. Only two Manganels alive. Some Knights and Crossbows pop out. Bro, use the lose. Use use the relics. I think it will be a good time right now. Oh no, now the English army is on the economy of core. Core losing villagers left and right. Bro, 3D Cat has a lot of villagers. Core had a lot of villagers as well, but not enough. There was a manganel, but it was destroyed immediately. Two manganels on the queue. It's just the English power, bro. It's those towers, the men-at-arms, the longbows. 
Am I going to lead to the field? Villagers need to run. Men at arms will try to destroy the Manganel. They will not be successful. Knights are there to defend. But there is Springles. Knights need this knight needs to jump on the Springle back ASAP. Springle shoots the Manganel. Manganel half HP. Villagers are healing, but villagers will die. Knights need to no knights need to destroy the Springle, bro. Villagers are not healing, Manganel goes down. Oh no, that's bad. The knights should focus that uh, Springle way earlier. With that Manganel alive, I think there was a chance. Because Core is now building a good number of units. Bro, he has one warrior monk. Use the relic. Use the water low, bro. Turn this game around. It will be it will be epic. Please do it. Bro, oh, ah, great work from 3D Cat here. Bringing the military production forward. So basically he has the defender's advantage as well. He brought the defender advantage with him. Core building good numbers. Berkshire Palace being dropped on the core's base. That's a dirty move. That's a cheesy move. Oh my god. But it's a very effective move. I'm not judging. Let's see. Entering the cinematic mode. Today is the battle for Core's life on this match. The second match of the set of the best of five. On the quarterfinals, who wins the set goes for the main event of the Elite Classic. Oh, oh, Villager need to retreat. There might be a chance for Court trying to destroy the Berkshire Foundation, but no. His army got deleted. Bro, it's the extra attack speed, I'm telling you. That extra attack speed is very good. Militia are being called. But I think they can't help now very much. There is not many villagers here. To do the trick. Perhaps the Berkshire needs to be cancelled. The Manganel sits there, but there is nothing to defend it. Three Manganels! Hold on! This can be it. Oh no, he just needed two or, two or three knights there. More villages get called, and the Berkshire will go up. And that will be GG, my friends. Core defended very well, but the English overpowering shined through once again today. Manganels will be destroyed, and GG gets called. What a match! Core says, I can't, tell them, I can't handle this. Guys, if you enjoyed this one, leave a like, watch more matches here on the channel, catch me live on Twitch, and I'll see you soon. Zotary Cloud Surfer, surfing out.